you guys. Welcome back to my channel, Sharon Cullen Art. Sorry I've been gone for a little bit. Um, just having some crappy times. I don't know if it's a flare or what, but a few weeks ago I went and had what I thought was going to be an injection in my spine. And this new pain doctor injected both of my SI joints, which I wasn't expecting. And I'm having excruciating pain in my one SI joint. If you're not familiar with ankylosing spondylitis or if you're new to my channel, I started my channel due to a disability. Started painting for mindfulness practice and it just kind of took off from there in 2012. The end of 2011, December is when I went on disability. And I've been on permanent disability ever since. Now I'm pushing 60. <laughs> yeah, I'm old. Um, but I've been retired, basically. My husband retired at 59. So um, we've been retired a couple of years. But anyway, I have ankylosing spondylitis along with many other health problems. But this pain that I've been having has caused a lot of difficulty in my walking. I know some of you noticed on my last Instagram video the way I was like hobbling like this when I walked. Uh, it's due to the hip pain that I've been having. Um, I, I just, unless I'm using a cane, I really can't walk normally and I've been trying not to use a cane. I've also been struggling with this whole COVID injection thing. I won't call it a vaccine because it is not a vaccine. The media calls it a vaccine. The government wants to call it a vaccine. But look at any of the pharmaceutical companies. They are not calling it a vaccine. It's not FDA approved as a vaccine. We are the test subjects. We are the people in their voluntary study, which they're making mandatory for many people. And it's really pissing me off. But Nobody's done any studies on people with all of my disabilities, my alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, my ankylosing spondylitis, adrenal failure, uh, heart defect, um, prediabetes, asthma, uh, what else do I have? Tons of shit, uh, excuse me. Um, so nobody's done any tests on that and some people have spontaneously died and within hours of their death, they claim that it was unrelated to COVID. Yet some of them are dying within 40 minutes of receiving the injection. I have a problem with that. Without an autopsy telling somebody, oh, it's unrelated, that person had heart trouble. Well, does that mean that people with heart trouble shouldn't be getting the injection? I'm just so sick of all the crap. And I'm getting pressure from my family, from people like, Sharon, if anybody needs it, you need it. Well, I ended up getting a, I did register. I thought I can always change my mind, but I did register. And Tuesday, Pat went and had his first injection. I was very nervous for him. Uh, as a nurse, I will tell you, most nurses and doctors did not want to take the injection, but were forced to by employers. Nurses who aren't working are not taking the injection. Um, so if that tells you anything. Nobody wants to be their phase three voluntary study subjects, which everyone is. And the fact that they want you to go, you can go sit in small groups of 10 without a mask on, telling you it's safe. They don't know that it's safe. They want you to do that so that they can study you and see if you end up with COVID anyway. That's what they're doing. And people aren't thinking about that. So... My husband was falling for that. And I said, Pat, don't you get it? They're telling you to do this because they want to see what's going to happen to you. They want to see if you get it so that they can mark it down in their little study research. The first COVID-1 vaccine failed miserably and they had to take it off the market. This is COVID-SARS-2. That was COVID-SARS-1. This is COVID-SARS-2. And this is the first RNA type of biological agent that they've used ever in history, ever. And everybody's just jumping in line to take it. It flips me out. So anyway, back to what I was going to say. Um, I ended up registering at Meyer, and with all they wanted to know all my health problems, so I put them all down. Pat got his call and made his appointment and went on Tuesday. Well, Monday I received my call to go 
and I missed the call. My phone was on vibrate because I had it off the night before my son and I were texting and we were in bed and I have a very loud beep for my texts because I miss a lot of text messages. So I, I put it on silent with vibrate so that I would know when the texts were coming in and we were just texting back and forth like for a couple hours. So it was like beep, 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 beep. I was driving my husband crazy and he's deaf. So uh, that tells you how loud it is. So anyway, I put it on silent. Well, I got a text from Meyer saying that it was time for me to come in for my injection. I had 24 hours to respond. 24 hours and some minutes after that is when I saw the text. And so I went in and tried to put in my code and my birth date and everything. And it said, eh, sorry, this, not class, this room clinic this clinic is full we will put you back on the invite list and get you know and contact you at another day at another time when there's an opening and i thought okay well then i was like is is this a sign from god do not take the vaccine whatever shot oh shoot you guys i don't know what to do and you can leave comments down below and tell me whether or not you think I should or shouldn't take it. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down, and let me know what you think. Uh, I know people have very strong feelings about it, and I don't want to make this political at all. This is a medical thing for me, and I would never, ever volunteer for a study. And that's what this is. This is a voluntary study for phase three because they never got to it. So they were ready for human subjects. And then people who go ahead and volunteer their children, their unborn child that they're pregnant with, they say, gotta be after 26 weeks because their organs are formed by 26 weeks. That's why they want you to wait so that you won't kill your baby. <laughs> Yet some people do this anyway. Uh oh, I got a muddy dog at the door, just a minute. So, you can let me know what you think down below. I've talked to a few of you who said, hell no, you're not getting it, and others that say they are. I want to travel, and I know the government is going to make it impossible to travel very soon. Uh, they're forcing people to do this, which we all knew, if you're Christian, we all knew this was coming that the government was gonna be forcing us to do these things. We've all heard visionaries and different people tell us that these things were going to happen. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I really am not. And I can't worry. Worry is useless. And Philippians 4, 6 and 7 uh, says, have no anxiety about anything but in everything with prayer and supplication, make your requests known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So I have to not worry. And that's a hard thing to do. But when you put all your trust in your belief of God, of Christ, then it all falls into place. This isn't my world. I'm just passing through. This is like a class for me. These years that I'm on earth is all a class for me to do learning about myself and then I'll return home. So I have to keep that in my mind. Do I want this shot? I don't know that I want this shot. I'm really struggling with it. And I'm gonna do a painting video, but I think I should keep this separate. Um, some of you will give me a thumbs down. I don't care. I really don't care. My faith is very strong for me. Um, and as long as I have this platform, I will continue to use that. And you don't have to listen. You can always shut it off. But please don't leave nasty comments because that doesn't help anyone. If it helps your anger, so be it. I'm just going to delete it anyway. But, um, you know, just pass by this one and I promise right after I get done with this video I'm going ahead and I'm starting a painting video so I will do that
But um, yeah, I have nothing f to open right now. We've gotten a lot of work done on the house. Let me show you what's been going on. I'll show you the rock wall that's all done. I'm still waiting on this to get done. Um, Pat's got to put these rollers that go on the underside of this. Stop. Right up here, these rollers will pop off the tracks. So he's putting another roller that goes up underneath and will, it's a cam, and it will pinch the two together so that they can't come off the track. And once that's done, then I think I'm all set. And I just got, I got one yesterday. These are the wheels now on the side and they're going okay, but these top things keep wanting to pop off. So it's not safe. I still can't get up there. I wanna get up there. I have an amplifier up there I need for my harp. Just a cheap one, I wanna get the good one. And then, um, what else? Oh, I forget. Oh, my knitting, which knitting season's almost over now. Arr! But anyway, here's my wa rock wall they got done. It's really dirty, but you can see now those retaining walls are done, gone. And oh, this screen. I hate that when screens get in the way. Um, but anyway, the wall goes way over there and it tapers down, down the wall and then comes down to the ground. And then we got the one over here that comes and wraps around. There's gonna be steps that we're putting up here. And then the hot tub will go right here. Um, but right now it's a mud bog out there. Oh my gosh, it, it's just so bad. Every time I let the dog out, I have gotta like rewash. And I have to wear these boots that are just like, they have monstrous treads on them. <laughs> Ugh, this mess. Um, they have monstrous treads on them so that I can get muddy and not ruin anything. Uh, what else has been going on in my world? Let me put you back up on the stand. I apologize for my hands being right in the way here for a second. Okay. Um, what else has been going on in my world? Yesterday I went for an eye exam. Um, they had to check my eyes because of the Plaquenil that I take, the hydroxychloroquine, which a lot of people wanted to take for COVID. But um, I take it for inflammation because they took me off of my embryo injections because of my pseudomonas infection in my lungs, which this last round of antibiotics has been doing really well, knock on wood. Um, I'm not superstitious, but whatever. It doesn't hurt to do it. <laughs> anyway, um, so I went for my eye exam yesterday and I'm having a lot of trouble when I read looking up and focusing in the distance. Um, it takes me several minutes, probably 10 to 20 minutes for my eyes to adjust. And if I look down and read again, then I got to do the whole 20 minutes all over again. And I constantly got my face reading something. So, or watching YouTube or whatever on my iPad a lot, but I went and had my exam done, and um, I found a pair of glasses which are very similar to my old ones, my favorite ones that you always see me wear, the black with the clear underneath and their cat eyes. But I found some silvery gray ones that look the same, so I bought those, and then I got another frame. It's kind of tortoise shell like this, only not dark, so it doesn't look like goggles on my face because of my light skin. They're very light. They actually match my hair. So, um, they're really pretty. So I'll be getting those. And then I found some awesome sunglasses. I was going to have my sunglasses, uh, redone a pair of them. And I saw these sunglasses and I fell in love. They're kind of a pinkish red color on the pinker side of red. I'm not a pink person at all, but, uh, these glasses were gorgeous and the shape were gorgeous and they were so flattering on me. The frames... They're like Ray-Bans. They're Moy, what are they, Mood Gems or Mood, I forget. You guys might know what I'm talking about. Mood Gem, Moon Gem, something. 700 bucks for the frames. It doesn't even include my progressive lenses, which are crazy expensive. So, and there's a new type of progressive lens out now that has a more gradual transfer from distance to close up and they're supposed to be awesome. So 
we'll see because my heart playing I'm right up against these strings and I need to really uh, be able to see them so that's going pretty well I'm learning lots of songs I know Fields of Gold now by Sting and um, I've learned some other more meditative songs and uh, anyway it's going really well but that's what's happening in my world right now and I'll keep you posted on things. Oh, my house is looking uh, amazing. They finally finished the tile in the kitchen with the caulking today. They have drywalled and mudded underneath my stairway going up to my balcony, which means then the next step would be getting the day bed area and the bookshelves in, which is going to be absolutely gorgeous, but that's going to be a while, maybe next fall. Um, and some storage drawers that will pull out about six feet um what else have they done the basement's almost finished just waiting on my toilet paper holder and towel hooks to come from my ba my bathroom downstairs and the bathroom is done we just have to put some doors on the storage area underneath the steps and i was thinking like push button magnet things where you just push on the door and it pops open um and we'll have like christmas storage and stuff underneath there uh the bar is done. We just have to do the shelving along the back of the bar, staying that. I say we, he. Uh, and then the mirror that came with my vanity in my bathroom that's going to be for the bar. I kept it and said this would look good on the back of the bar. You can put, it had little shelves. It was a buffet mirror, old antique, and you can put liquor bottles on it or whatever. So, uh, and then I got LED lighting to go around the outside of the room, and then I'm getting these gas pipe light fixtures. They look like gas pipes with red knobs on them, and then you put like Edison bulbs in the bottom and they come in packs of three these sets so that you can stagger them and make them high medium low whatever and I got one set for the bathroom we're going to see how it looks and then if we like it then we're going to do the rest of the room with those and then the basement should be finished um <sighs> so much work oh and we still have to put the finials on the ba balcony those have to be made but Things are coming along, so I will give you that final tour. I was just looking at rugs for my living room because I'm going to take the rug in my living room to the basement. Um, we need something plush and thick down there to keep our feet warm, and um, I'm going to do a thinner rug for the upstairs. I got my tables. Uh, they've been sitting in my garage unassembled, and I have to wait until like August or fall for my furniture to, to arrive. We got the two pieces. I'm still waiting on a sectional couch and another couch for my basement. And then we will be done. Can't believe it. Well, the landscaping outside. Got a screen in the back porch. That's going to be happening this summer, hopefully. Got to buy furniture for the back porch, but Pat won't let me do it. And I told him we could... We could do it now and get in early. Like they have stuff at Sam's Club and Costco and stuff like that that you can get fairly inexpensively. I just want that plastic rattan style furniture for my back deck. And then um, we got to build the front deck and finish all the landscaping and we're done. <laughs> There's not much left to do. <laughs> but then I will, I promise, I will give you the full tour of everything once I'm finished. So... In the meantime, you guys, I'm going to get going painting, and I will put out a different video for that. But be courageous, paint with wild abandon, and most of all, be kind to each other. Take care, everybody. God bless.